should be dipping my toe in the Christmas gift guide waters. I've never done a gift guide before. I enjoy watching them because they're always full of really good inspiration and ideas that I would never have even thought about beforehand. So I feel like hopefully this actually might help some of you who are struggling to think of gift ideas for someone you know. So today I'm going to be giving you some stocking filler ideas and these are essentially gifts under £15 and of course you can adapt these to spending more money if you wanted to or to finding a cheaper alternative. That is completely up to you. This video is just about planting the seed and giving you the ideas. Why is someone building now? It's time for gift guides. Now's a great time. Now's a great time to start sawing things in half outside my house. By the way, this is my Christmas jumper. It says, this is my Xmas jumper and I love it very much. Is my mic on? Yep. So I feel like we all know somebody who loves to lounge or they like to receive cozy things for Christmas. So scarves, gloves, pajamas, or these, which I thought were so cute. These are tiny little slipper shoes, I suppose, um, and they're like little penguins with bobble hats on, and they are the cutest thing I've ever seen. These are from Next, and they're £12. Next have some really lovely nightwear in at the moment. They have some really lovely little slipper socks, um, and I just thought they would make the perfect little stocking filler gift, and they're so cute. Now, because of my love for baking, I thought it would only be right to include something that you could give to somebody who also loves baking. Um, you can get some really lovely little kits, or you could even make up your own one if you give yourself a budget. You can go into Lakeland, they have some amazing things in there. Maybe put together a little gift box, or a little gift bag of a couple of wooden spoons, and a lovely tea towel, or some really beautiful sprinkles or cupcake cases. I know for sure I'm gonna be doing that for a few of my friends because I have an eye for sprinkles, so I am going to be making up a few of those, and I think it's just nice, I don't know, it's just, it's also a lovely thing, kind of after Christmas you've got leftover chocolate, you've got a lot of leftover food, um, and I feel like that is a time when a lot of people are kind of baking in the kitchen, um, so I did find this one from Kath Kidston, and this is £14, and it is just the cutest thing ever, I absolutely love this, so you get a wooden spatula, well it's wooden here, but it's like silicon up here with little flowers on it. You also get a wooden spoon, vital, and you also get this really gorgeous Kath Kidston print tea towel. And I just think everyone knows someone who loves who loves baking and this is a really lovely present to give. And it's the sort of thing that they would have in like a little pot and they would want to show off, you know? It's a cute one. So I thought that was a really nice idea for the baking lovers among us. The next thing that I would personally quite love to receive in a stocking or just as a little gift from someone, is notebooks. I collect notebooks. If I see a notebook that I think, oh, that's really lovely, it's gonna end up in my bookshelf of notebooks that all get about half full and then I start on a different one. Um, but Odea, which is O-H-H-D-E-E-R, have some really, really pretty notebooks that I feel like everyone would be really happy to receive. Maybe with a cute little pen or something, I don't know. The first one is this one, and it's marbled. We all know how much everyone loves a marbled everything, so why not take it all the way and have a marbled notebook? This is, is this A4? I think, I feel like this is smaller than A4. It's just smaller than A4, but it's really lovely. It looks so cool on your desk. Also a little trippy if you put it down on your marble worktop. But um, yeah, it's just a little notebook. I feel like this is a lovely gift to give somebody, and, um, Everyone needs a notebook. You can't go wrong with a notebook, I don't think. They also have these little packs of three. So this one comes with a rose gold copper one on the front, a metallic silver one and a metallic gold one. And this is another little pack of three and you have different patterns on this one. So this is a really light baby pink with kind of metallic gold etchings. And then in the middle, I think, what's this one? Let me try and slide them out. A little duck egg blue one that says notes. And then the last one is more of a geometric, oh dear, what have I done? Oh, 
And the last one is a little bit more of a geometric print. And again, I just think that's really good. Especially if um, you're getting this for somebody who's in school still or at uni or college and make a lot of notes in lectures and things, then I think these would be really nice because they're not your average notebook, they're actually really pretty. I feel like this wouldn't be much of a gift guide if I didn't include a couple of my own products. I mean, I would really suck at the promotion if I didn't. And also just because these are essentially made for stocking fillers, so I thought I would show them to you, especially because these are a few of my favorites. So the first one is the Two Balmy. This is two lip balms in a little metal tin. You've got Sweet Mint Lip Balm, which is a nude shade, and then you've got the Vanilla Cream Lip Balm, which is in a really lovely coral shade, and they even come with a little thing so you can hang it on a tree for somebody. How cute is that? This one I thought would be a really nice little present for a friend or as a stocking filler, and it's the um, hand cream, which is Wonder Hand. Um, it's just really pretty. It's just a nice gift. I feel like hand creams are also something that you don't necessarily buy for yourself. I feel like you can quite easily forget to buy yourself a hand cream, but it's nice to receive one and you're like, yes, I do have dry hands and I do need to moisturise them. So it's like a little kind of, hey, you with the dry hands, look, I got you a nice little hand cream. <laughs> also, I'm obsessed with this because I love my fizz bars um, and this is just a perfect stocking filler gift. They just come together in this cute little set. And I know that the fizz bars are really popular among a lot of you, so I figured this would be the perfect stocking filler gift for any of you that love a bath. Another thing which I think is quite nice uh, for under £15 is a reed diffuser or room diffuser. This one is in the classic scent and I just think it looks really pretty and again it's really giftable like it's a nice like gift like you've got the nice box although good luck to people wrapping it because it's not quite square um, so <laughs> I'd love to see how you wrap these um, but yeah I would highly recommend this as a gift because I would love to receive it personally and I'm not just saying that because it's my product if anyone wants to get me any other room diffusers I'm happy to accept those too <laughs> I just love things like reed diffusers because I feel like they're very universal like everybody will have a reed diffuser unless they really hate the scent in which case maybe not um, but in that sense you know they're good for everybody really another thing that i think especially this year because they've been so popular that would be a really nice little stocking filler gift or a gift for under 15 pounds for somebody you know is a coloring in book um, i personally love these i feel like they're great for downtime and also if you're on long calls or in a meeting and you're one of those people that has to doodle like you have to be doing something um, I know quite a few people like that I think it's something to do with concentration like you can concentrate more if you're doing something else I don't know how it works but I'm one of those people um, so this is one I would highly recommend it's the Joanna Basford books there's one called Secret Garden and then there's also this one which is slightly newer and they are so beautiful they don't feel just like colouring in books, they feel really special. Um, and I just think her illustrations are beautiful. Oh look, there's one I coloured in. <laughs> I won't be giving this one away, but I do have another of her books to give to somebody for Christmas. Not gonna say who because I'll be giving it away and they might be watching this video. This is another thing that I just feel like everyone should have, um, just to kind of doodle in. But I really, really like that one. So something like that. Or you can get themed ones. So if you know somebody who loves Alice in Wonderland, who loves Harry Potter, who loves Doctor Who, I feel like now there's literally a colouring in book for every subject. And that also makes it a little bit um, more kind of tailored to the sort of person that you want to um, get the present for. So I also found this one because you guys know how much I love Christmas. And it's called Escape to Christmas Past, a colouring book adventure. It's Christmassy. Colouring in books aren't just for kids anymore. Apparently they've been made cool for adults and I'm down with that. I feel like it would be really nice alongside a colouring in book to kind of go for some really nice pens. Um, these are the, I can never pronounce this, is it Sted, Sted, Stedler? Stedler? Stedler pens are really good. Um, depending on your budget you can either go for a big pack, you could go for slightly more expensive um, felt tip kind of fine liners or Sharpies, or just um, kind of just colouring in pencils or felt tips. I don't know, but I just think it's quite nice to kind of give the book with some felt tips so that they're literally ready to go. I really like these ones. I love the fine liners. I think they're so cool. I've also been really enjoying kind of artists colouring in pencils because they're really soft. 
Lush do have the most extensive range of bath bombs, especially around this time of year. Um, but if you don't want to go in and select something and just give it to somebody wrapped in the paper bag, they do some really lovely little gift boxes just with a couple of the little festive ones in it. And you don't even have to wrap it. You could literally give it like this because it just it's already done for you. Um, and this one has... Butter Bear Bath Bomb, Snow Angel Bath Melt, Father Christmas Bath, and the Peeping Santa Bubble Bar. Um, and it smells amazing. Oh my goodness. So if you want something literally as easy as that, you can walk into Lush and they have lots and lots of different box sets, lots of different price ranges. And again, I'm just going by what I like to receive. And if there's a Lush gift box somewhere under the tree, I am super happy. Okay, so that is everything that I wanted to show you guys in my little gift guide stocking fillers or under 15 pounds. I hope there was something there that inspired you or maybe made you think a little bit more about a present for somebody. Let me know in the comments any other really great gifts for under 15 pounds that you've discovered this year or that you think would be great to recommend to other people who might be reading the comments. And we can all help each other because I do feel like at this time of the year, there are so many people to buy for and sometimes it all gets a little bit overwhelming, especially if you've been given a price, like a price budget. Um, and of course there are so many other things but I literally would have been sat here for hours going through everything I could find for under 15 pounds. But that's why it's so great that you guys can leave recommendations in the comments and then we're all winning. I'll also be doing a slightly more luxury gift guide next week, so keep your eyes peeled for that. But for now, I'm gonna leave this here. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I hope you are enjoying me every single day so far and that you haven't already got bored. I'll see you again tomorrow. Bye guys! I mean, my hair's up right now, but you get the idea. The woman was like, oh, well, I hope you have a good party. How awkward would it be if you weren't actually? I mean, I wasn't. I wanted the 10 bags of crisps.